All right, so here's our constitution, all right? Our constitution is broken up into different parts. In fact, those, those are seven different parts, and those parts are called articles, okay? Now, here they are. Here's part one, article one, article two, article three, four, five, six, and seven. Those are seven articles, okay? Now, each one, the way you know what, which article is which, it actually says it, okay? And I don't expect you to be able to see this, but uh, Article 1 has a little Roman numeral. You know what a Roman numeral is, right? It's, it's an I, a capital I. So Article 1, you see right there, it says Article 1. That's how you know. Look at Article 1. It's 50% of the volume of the Constitution. Um, article 2, two double I there. Article 3 is the triple I. And then Article 4, capital I, capital V, Article 5, Article 6, and Article 7. There's, our, there's the basic breakdown of how the Constitution is broken up into seven different parts. And each one of these parts, I didn't know this when I started this three years ago, I had no idea, but each one of those parts has a specific subject. Article 1 is the legislative branch, and we're going to talk about each of these more specifically a little bit later. Article 2 is the executive branch. Article 3 is the judicial. Article 4 are the states. I should say mostly the states. Article 4 is somewhat of a catch-all. There's a lot in there, but, but focus mostly on the states. Article 5 is the amendment process. Article 6 is the supremacy clause. And Article 7 is the ratification. Okay? Like I said, we'll talk about that in more detail later. But here's your breakout. Let's, you look at this piece of paper and go, oh, okay. Well, there's seven different parts. They're called articles. And here's what they all talk about. Now, so what I want to do is I want to help you memorize where the supremacy clause, where is it located? You know, the different clauses, where are they located? We're going to do some word plays again to try to help you remember that. This is where it gets a little bit crazy. Okay, I admit. A little bit interesting and weird. <laughs> but the supremacy clause... How are we going to remember this? Well, let me introduce you to my, my friend, the burrito, okay? And this burrito isn't just a regular bean burrito. It's a burrito supreme. Okay, burrito supreme, what's that mean? Well, it means it has sour cream, right? <laughs> but the reason we're using supreme is because it relates to the word supremacy, okay? So you think supremacy, God. okay, burrito, burrito supreme. Okay, got it. And you want to guess how tall this burrito is? It's a huge, tall burrito. This burrito is six feet, two inches tall. And why would I choose six feet, two inches to be the height? Because article... Six, clause, two. Get it? Okay, is that weird enough that you'll remember? So when I say supremacy clause, I say, okay, supreme burrito, six foot two. Okay, article six, clause two. Got it? Okay, weird but hopefully memorable. 